Hello Aries, it is time for your mid-May to June reading of this current year. Congrats, you survived yet another month. I'm happy for y'all. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. Okay. Um, do you feel constrained about not knowing what to do and what move to make a little bit? Or are you hesitating? Is your mind just messing with you? Are things just going a tad out of order? Do you feel like you need my Jesus? Okay, I'll quit. I'm sorry. Anyway, hold on a second. Just two seconds. I need the heater pointing at me because it is cold in my house. And I also get cold very easy. So, you know. I get extremely cold and I feel like my neck's breaking out and that's not good. Ugh. Cold weather always does that to me. Anyway, I hope y'all are taking it easy or whatever. If you want a personal reading after this, my email is below. I missed some people and I'm sorry for that. I didn't mean to. But like my email's been acting funky. We'll start with that one. Starman or the Magician Reverse. This is going to be a quick six way because I don't feel like dilly dally shilly shally. Uh, three of Cups Reverse in your wants and wishes. Prince of Pentacles in the fears and rejections. He is reversed as well. The situation has the lovers reverse. Then we have Eight of Wands in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. And Five of Cups in the catalyst as well as the final result. With the beginning theme being Queen of Wands. Could be you. Also could be an Air, a Leo or a Sagittarius in this situation. Sitting there with their posse just waiting. People in her background. Possibly influencing her a little bit, but she's the one in control. Uh, might be a little bit of guardedness up that you want to release. Yeesh. Look, these cards are so big for my little hands. Playing guitar is hard when you have little hands, too. Because there's a lot of chords where you got to do a lot of stretching. And that's like... <clears throat> but... You can pick up a lot of shit and tear into a lot of things when you got a strong hand. I feel like the dude from, like, what was it, Scary Movie 3 or 4 or something like that, where they were in that mansion? Where they were playing, like, The House on Haunted Hill or something like that? Dude in the wheelchair, dude, the tiny, weird-ass hand. I don't know why I'm talking about this. We should continue. Um, anyway, Aries. Or those dealing with Aries, Crosswatchers, whoever it is, right? This person feels like there's something that they either cannot manifest or they manifested it and it turned out very, very bad. This one looks dropping a lot, so I gotta wait a bit. I guess their their cloud in their happiness, something coming in between two people. I feel like is this you? Because sometimes the magician is Aries. Did you do this? Because I can see you doing this, like maybe not even intentionally, but I can totally see you doing this because you guys tend to do this kind of stuff. Not like you're meaning to, though. Everybody has flaws. But it definitely brought something down, I feel like, between two people. That could even represent a Gemini as well. We got the lovers down here. Also Gemini's card. Separation of sorts between two people. A disconnection. I should have music playing, and I don't. I'm sorry. Uh... Nothing moving forward with it or moving forward past it. Someone's geared up. Someone's hiding their feelings. Someone's just prepared for battle in it all. Give me two seconds. Okay, that's better. 
All right. Three of Cups, Wants and Wishes. Possibly a third party situation that leads up to a breakup or some overindulgence that you know is just not good for you. Emotionally wise, anyway. Just something that like spurned something to where like it was some sort of. I don't want to say disagreement or debacle. It's more like miscommunication of sorts because everyone's emotions are just spilling over them. Um, making decisions with it. It's like you're. It's like this person's trying to decide what to do, Aries. Like, should they keep digging up onions and crying over it, or should they just go ahead and bury them at this point? What's going against you is action, movement, and that movement's actually going towards this decision when it comes to a third party situation. What is your challenge in this? Hmm. A Knight of Pentacles reverse. Um, the offer has been delayed, slowed, yielded, halted. Not that it isn't there, it's just not coming now. Like something has da da da. And it, there can also appear as well. Both of them facing the same way, but still, the offer is kind of going backwards in the fears and rejections, right? Like you're afraid that it's now rescinded, um, being returned back to sender. Instead of possibly coming to you. Um, security reasons. <laughs> like someone's clinging on for life or death. Capricorn, Taurus, Aries. Or not Aries. Um, hmm. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But it's interesting I said your name, Aries. Um, are you dealing with someone who won't let you go and you're wanting them to let you go somehow? Are you doing something really drastic that probably is not the best idea? Is the question. Because I feel like you're afraid that this person's just going to stick around. But it's like you've already kind of manifested this stuff to happen. You've already kind of guarded yourself when it comes to the breakup. All the emotions that come with it with the chariot. The challenge right now is getting this Knight of Pentacles to do what you want them to do, almost, I feel like. And if that's not them, this is like... You're going back and forth in your mind, and you feel really secure with possibly this uh, Knight of Pentacles you're dealing with, apparently. But it's like you're sitting here waiting with the Queen of Wands over here, with all of these people behind you, and I'm wondering, like, mm, are these lovers that you've been sneaking with, or someone's been sneaking with around you? Like, What an interesting little tale we have here. It's like you're trying, like, yeah, I think the last time I talked to you guys, um, it's, you were waiting on some sort of breakup or something. Or something to happen. Oop. That's way too many. It's like half the deck. But then we got the Five of Cups down here, which is the catalyst as well as the final result. Like, someone had their cups spilled, but there's still two behind them. It's like you're dreading it, though. Like, like it, whoever this is, Aries, I wonder what they could have done. Or, I don't know. Like, why is this... Like, are you afraid something's gonna turn up? And you're just waiting? That's why she is here, the Queen of Wands? Then we have the page of wands, or a page of cups right here, which is like Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Someone opening up and giving their feelings. It's 
someone might, who might be impulsive, emotional about it, but then we get the Queen of Wands up here, like, sitting here, like, just being, like, um, <clears throat> get to hurry up. Like, someone's waiting for someone's honest feelings to come out, I guess. But you're dreading it, too, like. So, it's like... You feel like you're coming out of some delusions with the moon. Like your emotions are no longer strings to play you as a puppet. So, or someone's coming out of that. One of the two. And there looks like there's no new beginning when it comes to like love of some sorts. Um, someone's not coming to apologize. Someone's got their back turned to these illusions with the moon. Hmm. Interesting. Like, this is, like, so weird. So very, very, very weird. Oop, we got two in the end. Someone needs to decide how to let go of this burden. It might be the earth in this, right? But it, it's somebody here. Um, someone's trying to find options in releasing a burden they just feel like they can't carry anymore. Um... But they're not releasing the burden. Like, that's the thing. So I don't know if they're... I mean, they're taking their options and they're looking at it and they're still picking the burden over a new option. <clears throat> that's where the one pentacle's pointing at. So it's just kind of like... It, it, it's, it's like... Almost like regardless of whether there's love there or not, like so, this person is still picking a burden over what could be above them and above this part you know this is like possibly a greater value but the grass is not always greener on the other side and i feel like that's what this nine of swords is kind of dreading right now i don't know but that's yours aries um i hope to See you guys later. This is weird. But I'm sure you guys will figure it out. See ya. Bye-bye.